Hello my acquaintances. Today, um, in case you didn't know that I was a cosplayer, I keep that all on a second channel because I don't want to deter cosplayers when I post my other content and vice versa when I post cosplay content to deter people who don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> and for my qualifications, I've been cosplaying since 2011. I won Best in Show in 2018 with Link and I've been sewing since 2009 and I generally make my own patterns so I'm hoping that will help me here sometimes though you do see the merging of the two channels content during Halloween time when I do costumes and makeup and all that so if you want to stick around for that that's good but this video was in this box so we're gonna unbox it I ordered this Monster High doll from Mercari because I did not like them when they first come out because they were replacing Bratz and Barbie, or no, not Barbies, I don't care about Barbies to be honest, but they were replacing Bratz and Lilith's Pet Shops on the shelves and that was upsetting to me. So I didn't like them even though they are actually really cool and then recently I've been on a I was on an internet thing and basically I decided I needed to get one and I really liked this character in particular, Elizabeth. She's like Draculaura, but these things are big. These are like taller than Bratz dolls, I think. Maybe not. They feel very long. Anyways, I ordered her. But I don't really like this slumber party dress that she's got on kind of deal. I think that's what this is. I don't know. So I'm going to be making her something more comparable to what she had in this outfit. So I'm going to use this dress to kind of make a pattern for a new dress out of maybe some purple velvet and some black velvet and maybe some black lace all right i'm just gonna start this off the same way i do it in real life so we're gonna have to strip it bitch down to be honest usually when i do it i just i just draft a pattern directly on the fabric and hope for the best but we're gonna do this also because I'm gonna alter it quite a bit. So I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need something I can work with here. All right. There's the table. I'm gonna pull out here a piece of scrap paper. Hold on one Alright, now I have this scrap paper to start off with. And I'm gonna get a marker. And you see, if I was doing this with clothes, I would flip them inside out so you can see the seams. Right, so that's what we're gonna do here. So the basis of it like all right then that's just the basis and it looks like that and because I want it to be a fuller skirt I'm gonna go ahead Extend it out like that. And I might try and make even like some petticoat or something for it, but I'm gonna start it out wider. And then this is gonna be a little bit longer. So I'm gonna need two of these. And that's gonna be base for the, the base. I'm going to try and also 
cut the bag out. even make it a little bit longer in the mat because of you got to do that with skirts because these things have lordosis like as bad as me the spine here hey um, doll spine how you doing <laughs> it's like that next i'm gonna want to do the sleeves so I'll start with this sleeve hole, but I think I want this to be like the length of the arm. dramatic kind of like that so if we take a look at the stash here I have this purple velvet fabric oh I also have this purple velvet fabric but it's kind of more blue I think I'm gonna use this one and I have some shorter pieces of it that I think I should use like some smaller ones that I should use first yeah, here's some small pieces of black velvet that I think I can use. And then my laces with the trims, and we'll get into that, but... Alright, so if I were actually making this in a proper fashion, I would do the top separate from the skirt, and sew it at the waist. But because these seams are going to be so small, it, that is not gonna work <laughs> because it's crushed velvet it doesn't really matter the direction anything faces so I'm just gonna go ahead and start tracing these out onto the fabric um, you know what? I just thought of another alteration that I wanted to make but I didn't I wanted this to be more high high neck so Okay, I have adjusted my patterns, I think, correctly. And so now they look more like that. And I'm going to chop, chop, cut them out of here. I'm going to pin this together because it's already a slippery fabric. And I'm making something less than a tenth of the scale that I usually make things. Look at this, the whole dress, two pins. It's crazy. So, I just line them up as you do. And, here you have it, pin them right sides together. We're gonna sew them up. Here goes nothing. This definitely isn't winning a craftsmanship award, but I think it'll hold itself together, which is all I really need. Considering uh, I'm just gonna put it on a shelf. 
All right, so this proved to be even harder than I thought this was gonna be the easy part. So I'm gonna make sure that this part fits so that, you know, I don't proceed to do the even more tedious parts. Velcro closed in the back. Like something like this. So it does fit. I might even take the waist in just a little bit more. And then start with the sleeves. Ah, there it is. Um, it fits nicely, I feel. And then I did the Velcro and it was a very, it was a process, so. Just uh, when people sell these these clothes on Etsy, charge a lot of money. That's why sewing in this Velcro, it's a whole thing. And uh, since it's a Monster High doll, that will explain the monstrosity of a sewing job. This is. I tried once. I realized about here to make the rest of the seams smaller on the outside and bigger on the inside. So I really kind of just basted the velcro on because we're doing the sleeves now fold what we're going to use in half three this part of the sleeve sewing them. Right, so it's gonna end up being like that. Kind of. This is what she's looking like so far, which I really like, but I think it will look even better with some more detail to it i kind of want to make a petticoat so that this dress is a little more poofy on the bottom um making a regular petticoat is already horrendous making one small i can't imagine will be very easy so therefore i'm going for it here is my purple tool and I'm just going to make a, a tutu petticoat because that's the easiest way to make one. And so I'm just going to cut these into strips and then tie them to a little piece of elastic for the waistband just like that.
I just um, put together a waistband. <laughs> Look how skinny these girlies are. So I might not even need this much for that guy is kind of old now. But let me make sure you see how long this is going to be. I'm going to fold them in half so that the loop is right here. And then you put the two pieces through the loop and you just pull it like that and then you just do that all the way around it's a little long but not honestly that long so i think i'll just leave them at that length and then maybe trim the whole thing all right so now as you can see she has a little bit of petticoat action here I was going to trim it, but I actually kind of like how it sticks out under the model. So, I think I'm just going to leave it like that. And now, I want to cut, like, a bow to put around the waistband. So, I have this. From my cyber cosplay, I used it for, like, the trim and the and stuff because it has these little dots on it like in the reference so I'm just going to cut about this knot off I think it's difficult honestly that's already a cute little detail and I kind of wanted to add some black velvet so I was thinking of maybe doing some ruffles on the bottom edge but now I'm not so sure now I don't actually have an official technique when I ruffle things I just kind of crush it under the foot with my fingers and hope for the best. I know you can actually measure it and mark it and have every ruffle in the same size and everything, but. That's kind of not my style. you finish sewing it it's pretty much looks the same as a ruffle even if it's technically not and honestly I feel like the sewing this would be so tedious and I just don't want to so I'm gonna see about hot gluing this onto the bottom of the dress I'm currently picking out the hot glue strings that, you know, fell while I was gluing it. But I think with that, the dress is done. I really like how it looks. And I think it just fits her a lot better than, than the other one did. Um... I think it just looks a lot nicer. I don't know. It, it fits. It fits her more. I think. 
and so the only thing left is that her shoes are kind of bright red to match the red reddish pink on the dress and I know it kind of ties into her hair and her makeup a bit but I think I am just gonna paint those over with black all right you see it here they are I'm gonna paint them black but to tie in the purple back I I'm gonna use this purple holographic glitter and like kind of embed it into the paint. The shoes appear to be dry, so we'll add those to her, and that'll be that. And I'll add her to my little shelf. I put them on these little things, and this is like a dotting tool, and then this is a marker, you know, to help, so that I could, I could paint them all at once so that I didn't have to do more for winter. And luckily for me, as I hoped, um, painting over the shoes, you can still see the, the design in them because they have these little bats in the front and these spider webs on the side. And it's really cute and I'm glad that that didn't like get masked over with paint. And then there's some glitter on it. shoe is which? Okay, there's a right and a left shoe. And there she is. Much more fitting of her, I don't know, her character and everything. She's supposed to be, I feel like she was supposed to kind of be Draculaura, but like more vampire more gothic kind of bleh, she says um, but yeah that's the finished dress and you know this only took me two days and if I were working like long at a time I probably kind of get it done in a day, but it probably took a total of like four or five hours, so it's better to split it up. A little bit more witchy than vampire, but you know, it's still better than what she came with. I think she kind of looks like a hex girl. So, yeah, thanks for watching this, so, you know to buy, subscribe, see you later all you haters.